Hello, it's Not Bad Cat here on April 2nd, 2022 with your weekly RimWorld mod updates and uploads. What was your favorite new mod from March? Let me know in the comments. Mine's easily Geological Landforms, which also got an update this week. But it's going to be really hard to pick my favorite for April because there's already two candidates for me just this week. I think you'll really like this first one. Let's dive in. Despite using mods like While You're Up and Pick Up and Haul, my pawns still like to cross the map for one thing, then travel all the way back. While You Are Nearby by Pure MJ raises the priority of nearby jobs if the pawn's next job would normally be far away. You can customize what is considered near or far and how much nearby jobs are boosted. They'll still gallivant back to base for non-work jobs like eating and sleeping, so you might want to set their schedules for work instead of anything. To stop pawns from being stuck in an area, they have a, by default, 5% chance of sticking to vanilla behavior and walking across the map. I'd highly recommend using WorkTab to deeply customize job priority. From priority 1 to 9, don't forget to control click on job categories to expand it even further. I definitely use it on Construct so all pawns can haul ingredients to a blueprint or add a roof. Since adding this mod to my current colony, I have seen a significant increase in jobs getting done. As your pawn levels up in construction, they'll make higher quality items more frequently and you'll want to replace old furniture with better ones. Deconstructing and reconstructing until you get what you want takes effort and management. Quality Builder just helps with automating it. Improve This skips the deconstruct and reconstruct process. Set a structure to improve this and a pawn will act as though the structure is a blueprint. If your pawn fails to get a better quality, it just stays the same. No more losing an excellent bed and getting a poor one in return. The cost to improve is the same as though you deconstructed the current building and rebuilt it. If you fail, you will just have to attempt an improvement again until you get a higher quality. The buckets of milk are nice, but you wouldn't store milk in a bucket like that long term. Well, same goes for meat sitting on the floor, but... Milk Retexture by Milk Noggins is just a tiny mod that changes the bucket to a bottle. Looks much more delicious and sanitary. Geological Landforms by Moonlight had a nice update this week. It comes with three new landforms, Scary, Badlands, and Desert Plateau. Prepared Landing now has a setting to search for a specific landform, and its compatibility with map roll improved, so previews should now be accurate for landforms. Another change affects how ores are generated on the map. Landforms with low amounts of rock will have a higher density of ores, so you shouldn't come across a map with no ores anymore. There's also a node-based landform editor with live previews and customization features, so you can get just the map you're looking for. No Pause Challenge V3 by Brains updated this week, adding the option for a 0.5 time speed. If you think that being able to pause the game, especially in combat, makes the game too easy, you might like this mod. Anything that would normally pause the game ceases to do so. Best know what you want to trade before that trader decides it's time to leave. Pressing escape will pause the game if you do need to go to the bathroom or grab something to eat. The half speed option though is great for players just starting this challenge. If you're looking for a small hydroponic system or a way to entirely automate farming, Garden Cloche Automatic Hydroponic by Onijecto might be what you're looking for. Plants will automatically be sown upon construction, changing crops, and after crops are harvested, which is automatic. When plants finish growing, they just spawn next to the structure. It's 2x2 two two in size and equivalent to 4 crops. But it only needs 150 watts of power and it doesn't need any light at all. When it says 3 days of growing time for rice, that means 3 days, 72 hours. Crops don't have a resting period. Sure, it's one more day than hydroponics, but there's no work involved. With these, you won't need a pawn good at planting anymore. Automatic gardening does need fabrication to be researched, so you will still have the early game struggle of having enough food for your colonists. Never set off a chain reaction of exploding turrets again. Any explosive will have an overlay indicating the danger area should something happen, intentionally or not. Items like chem fuel will have two, one for an individual unit and a larger radius for the stack of chem fuel. Walls might absorb some of the impact so the radius isn't fully accurate if there's something protective in the way. As we know all too well this year, 
prices don't stay the same, and the Vanilla Expanded team packs a ton of content into a single mod. Vanilla Trading Expanded by Oscar Podeskai is a light simulation of supply and demand. It's not meant to be realistic. Once you've built the trading terminal, you'll be able to gain news of price fluctuations through the Planetary News Network, so you might be able to time the market for great profit. Are you struggling for cash, or do you have too much of it? You also get access to a bank. Deposit your excess silver so it doesn't count towards your colony wealth anymore. And make sure you're friends with the bank's faction. There's fees, of course. So be allies with them and eliminate your deposit and withdrawal fees altogether. But if you're struggling, there's always loans. Short-term loans have high interest, but long-term loan interest depends on your relations. Be a good person and raise that credit score. And what's an economy without a stock market? Buy stocks in orbital trade companies, watch the news, and buy low, sell high. And shares don't count for colony wealth. But if you're desperate for a certain item, you don't have to wait for a trader to hopefully have it. If you're willing to buy at a premium, you can make a sale contract. The higher the markup, the more likely someone will fulfill the order. But make sure you have the funds in the bank for when they come calling. You'll also have the chance to land some sweet deals. If you have what they want on hand, great. You might get double or triple what the item is worth. But be careful if you have to take time to craft it. Someone else might snag it before you, especially if there's high markup. Each year, prices are more likely to come back to vanilla default. If it sold low last year, the price might rise this year. Same with high prices, but not always. Some items might continue to get further and further away from their normal price. And the changing prices do also change your colony wealth. If Yayo price increases massively and you have 2,000 in your stockpile, expect the rates to become much larger. You might want to sell that off and quickly put that newfound wealth into the bank before the pirates come calling. That wraps up the mod updates and uploads for this week of April 2nd, 2022. If you're interested in any of these mods, you can find links to them in my description. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. I'm not Batcat, and I'll see you next week.